Hey guys, Dude Legit City here. Uh, some of you asked about the uh, simple liquid lock design and explain a little bit more about this. So we're going to go in depth about this design. Today we're going to be talking about the vacuum door combo with the liquid lock setup. Now typically in this game, you're going to want to do a liquid lock as shown in this setup, ignoring the doors. This is going to be normally what you build. In the most cases, you're probably going to have a suit entrance from the inside of your base and a liquid lock setup like so. This is to prevent gases from coming in as you want to keep the gases inside your base pressurized, allowing you to have an easier time generating oxygen for the inside as you would be providing oxygen for the inside of your base, not the outside. Now, of course, that's only if you have an enclosed base setup, but in most cases, you're going to use a liquid lock somewhere along the lines of your designs. But having a liquid lock allows you to maintain gas pressure levels very easily. And also another thing, prevent heat transfer from sneaking in as quickly. If you guys don't have the water here and just have a regular airlock door, the heat transfer from the outside to the inside would be very quick. That's because of how the mass of the door heats up rather quickly allowing the temperature transfer from the outside to inside as long as the gases touch the doors in which they will and that causes some issues but for the most part if you do a liquid lock you can see that i'm at cycle 750 outside's around 43 inside's around 30. it's a very nice way to buffer the heat before it comes in now, of course, with the liquid of choice, in our case, it's water. If the outside was around 100, we'd be, in, we'd be in trouble as that might become steam. So you do be very wary of the outside of the base temperature before you choose which liquid you want to use. Now, that's just a liquid lock. Typically, if you want to do things like having a chlorine room like so, so that you have a pressurized environment to make sure none of the gas leaks out, doesn't mix so that you get a certain benefit. The chlorine room allows you to kill germs as such. Maybe, maybe you guys want to make a spawn room as so. And if you guys allow the other gases to go in and out while you're building the thing, or if your duplicates go inside to idle or anything like that you want to make sure you only have oxygen and uh hydrogen in here as some of the other gases might mess up your filters depending on the design but that's the reason why you would want a liquid lock like so now we're going to show you a quick add-on to the uh, liquid lock design and that is with these two doors right here having a door right here that's a manual airlock and this one is a mechanized airlock the reason being is because the mechanized airlock has a automation port by atta attaching a automation cable here to a signal switch, we could close the door and open the door at will. By doing this, we create what's called a vacuum. As you can see that that's a vacuum on both of these tiles. A vacuum means there is nothing on that tile, meaning that there is no medium to transfer heat. Now, the insulated tiles have a separate command for how that heat transfer calculation works so it's going to be rather slow now having a door here or having this exposed to the water is going to superheat the water as the inside it's going to be around 70 degrees by creating a vacuum lock door setup especially in a spawn design or a design like maybe even like a steam room like so where after you finish building the setup for the steam turbine aqua tuner you're going to really just worry about the pipelines and you're never going to go back inside to really do anything unless you need to repair the aqua tuner and things of that sort but otherwise after you finish that build you wouldn't go back in by doing the vacuum lock design you could see that it's 70 degrees here but the water here is around 43 which is the temperature of the ambient environment this means that this heat inside of the insulated box right here never leaks out meaning that you don't have to worry about this slowly heating up your base if you're worried about uh, potentially in this situation where the steam is above 100 degrees and you don't have any other liquids for your liquid lock. So you have to use water, but you're scared that it might boil because of that exposure. Having a vacuum lock like this makes that not able to happen. So it lets you get by with certain designs sometimes, depending on what you're trying to do. But you can see that the vacuum prevents any heat transfer, which is going to be the goal of a lot of cases of this design anyways. But guys, that's the very quick and easy design for the double door and the liquid lock setup. 
If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.